Hey everybody, how we doing today? What a perfect day today is. I mean, it's so nice. We're gonna go do some reef action. Uh, yeah, super calm day today. Less than 10 knot winds, bright blue skies, full sun, mid 80s. So we're back to summertime weather. So I'm gonna enjoy it today and uh, we're gonna run out to the reef. Loaded for bear. All right, we've arrived to the edge of the reef. There's a uh, channel marker for the edge there, only in about 18 foot of water. But what I'm needing right now is bait. So I'm gonna hope that uh, I can get some ballyhoo to show up or some blue runners or something. And then once I've got that, then I think I'm gonna head out to deeper water. So this is just a temporary stop. And we might catch some stuff because that's a, uh, the uh, marker pole actually collapsed there and then the Coast Guard just put that temporary marker there. So it's good structure, but we need bait. Well, the chum has pulled in a bunch of fish, but they're all just small juvenile uh, yellowtail snappers. No bally who has shown up. So I think I'm just gonna risk it, go out and try to troll up a blue runner or some other bait and then uh, head out to the bar. I don't want to play with little old guys today. Okay, I'm gonna troll the uh, four inch, uh, what was that, silver gold uh, paddle tail to uh, right along the reef edge. And I'm gonna be trying to target to catch a blue runner. So I'm just gonna put that guy out, do a little trolling. This is the first time I've ever caught one of these. I think they call it like a squirrel fish. And I know they say it's like a great uh, grouper bait. I just don't have a bottom rod set for it and I'm not quite sure, so I'm gonna let this guy go. Look at those eyes. Cool little fishy. Caught that on the four inch paddle tail. We actually snagged them. <laughs> well, we have no tide and what little there is is going diagonal to us, going towards the keys, but there's really not much current at all, so that's not good. Not seeing any action, not getting any action. I'm thinking about making a move and just doing a run out to the wrecks real quick, even though I don't really have a lot of time. And that means coming back home in the dark. But I'll do one more drift. If nothing, then I think that's what we'll do. Try to salvage the day, make the long run. All right, we made it to the wrecks. Doing a test drift. I cleared off all my uh, trails from my last trips. I've got the... Uh, all about the bait. This is the uh, little three ouncer, I think. I'm just gonna check the uh, current and I'll adjust from there. This is one of the lighter sizes and then I can go heavier if, uh, if it's ripping away pretty quick. All right, I think we hit bottom here, so let's give it a go here. We got something. <clears throat> kind of high. I was like right by the boat when it hit. It is no power for the uh, heavy esky though. Either a tuna or a bonito. I'm thinking Benito. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, geez. Man. Caught this dude green. Yeah, beneaters. Little beneaters. Are you done? All right, you're done.
Ah, oh, there we go. At least we got some action there. Get out. Got it on the uh, five ounce uh, knife jig there. I have a little bit of a uh, glitter flake on it. Then it's white with some uh, glow paint on it. I'm thinking that was these marks here. They were up in the water column. I mean, it hit not too far from the boat. So definitely up in the water column. Big shark keeps cruising by me. I see you. It's like a little white sharky, but decent size. He's over there. There he comes. You'll see him right there. Yeah, pretty good size dude. <laughs> I don't want to catch anything right now. Got a hit right there. I think there's more than one. I keep seeing bodies going by. Yep, there he is. Every time I look somewhere, there's like a big white body. <laughs> oh! Broke me off. Cut me off. Stupid toothy critters. Chopped me right there. What the heck? On the way down. Uh, whoa, whoa. That's going to bring the sharks. I think there's a big school of uh, beneaters right below me. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a little black fin. I got you in the eye. Oh, you're going to be blinded. Yeah, they're whacking it on the way down, so... Saves me some trouble. Well, I am calling it. Uh, fortunately, that guy with the uh, bay boat came through and uh, dumped a ton of pilchards out there, live pilchards, and then nothing came up. <laughs> so once I saw that, I was like, I'm out of here. He stayed around a little bit, but after he dumped those, he just took off as well because just nothing came up. So that uh, resolved that issue of me having to stay out there and jigging for nothing. So I'm calling a day. A few little dinkers, but you know, what can you do? I tried on the reef, outside the reef, on the wrecks. <laughs> so I put in my work. My arm is tired. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. I get to go home in the light. <laughs> we got a bait ball there. Not sure what kind of fishies, but. There's a lot of them. Now that's what we like to see. Where's the fish attacking these bait? Oh, did it come off? Ah, lost them. Had something. What happened? Well, it just didn't stick them. We got something this time. Alright, we got something this time. Stay on there, baby. Let's 
see what you are. That old Bonita? Yeah, Bonita. You've been caught on the four inch paddle tail. It's almost bigger than the one I got on the jig out there. Yeah, you got stuck good. Man, you got stuck. There we go, Hail Mary Beneaters. Yeah. All right, now I'm satisfied with my day. All right, now we're smacking them. They want speed. Quick retrieve. Oh, pull and drag. More bonitas. But <sighs> little guy. Yep, open wide. And you're free. Those was what I needed for bait earlier. Now it's just plain getting too easy. I guess I get to go. Ah, this is actually a nice one there. Ah, not too bad. The four inch pedal tail is crushing them. There you go. Not too bad of a deal there. And in the sunset, I need to get home. All right, we're gonna put away the paddle tail.